December 14, 2013. They were just freshmen experiencing RIT's first outdoor game at a snowy and frozen Frontier Field. What do you remember about that experience? Cold and miserable. Uh, I always say that it was a great experience, but if the weather's like that, I said it's something I never want to do again. But uh, it was really fun. You know, I've never had an outdoor game before that so had Johnny, that much of a good. meaning. It was That's a conference good. game, and, you know, I think the tie uh, was good for both teams given the atmosphere and what was going on around us that night. It brings back a lot of memories just kind of growing up as a kid, you know, being on the outdoor rinks and whatnot. So I think for a lot of guys, it was just exciting to be on the outdoors again, just like old times as a kid. So I thought it brought back a lot of memories and just excited the guys a little bit more that night. This class is the last to have taken the ice at Ritter. Oh, the save! And the Tigers are going to send the Frank Ritter Arena out in style. You know about the Ritter before you come here to play hockey, so uh, we got that chance to play that first year. I guess it was our first year, but there last year, and uh, it was pretty cool to see the, all the fans come in and fill it. Uh, general seating, you know, first come, first serve. Uh, that last game, it was so loud, and you look up and everyone's standing around the balcony and everything, so it was pretty crazy. This class was also among the first to experience the program's new home, the Gene Policini Center. This is kind of a, you know, a huge, you know, beautiful arena that, uh, you know, especially for recruiting, stuff like that, for, you know, players to come in and see, you know, what we have here and what we offer. It's, it's, it's one of a kind, especially in all of NCAA. During their time as Tigers, this group has helped deliver some big time moments, including back-to-back -back Atlantic Hockey Championships. Probably my best post moment ever. Um, you know, the last two years have been truly remarkable. And even last year, uh, the way we fought versus Air Force in the semifinal, we tied it up with a few minutes left, won in overtime. I think after that game was over, we knew that we had won. You know, we still had a game left versus Robert Morris, but to me, I always say that was the true championship game. That tested our will, and that showed us who we were as a team. And, you know, to be able to hold that trophy up in front of our fans in our hometown is truly special. And the hockey game is over! RIT has knocked off the top seed. And who could forget, they were a part of the biggest upset in NCAA tournament history, too. I remember a lot. I remember uh, it actually just gave me some shivers there thinking about it, but I'll never forget jumping over the bench and Ruby selling down in the corner there and, you know, just, you know, all the feels that, you know, you get from, you know, truly accomplishing something huge like that. Their journey doesn't end on senior night. Despite all they've accomplished, they're not done leaving their mark on this program. How do you think this class wants to be remembered? Uh, we want to be remembered as champions. I mean, that's bottom line. We've won two. We want to go out with three. Winning, I mean, that's, that's the standard. We set the bar, too, and that's what we want to hold ourselves to. Hopefully we're remembered as winners. Uh, one of the few classes, obviously, the guys that we played with have gone back to back, but we're the only teams in RIT history that have done that, so it's uh, pretty special. And if we're able to get a third title this year, that'd be really remarkable. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but I think we have the guys that can do that, and we're looking forward to the challenge.